Hi, my friends. It is time for religion. Today, we are going to be focusing on the word Advent, and we know that Advent is for waiting. Advent is also the four weeks before Christmas. To celebrate the starting of Advent on Sunday, we are going to listen to a story. It is called An Angel Brings Wonderful News to Mary. Now, Mary is the mother of Jesus. And this is a story all about how Mary found out she was going to bring Jesus into the world. After we listen to this story, we are going to do the Advent is for waiting book, okay? But first, let's listen to this story, okay? I'm going to read some words and then you get to look at the picture, okay? So it says, the angel Gabriel came to Mary to give her a special message. The angel said she will have the Son of God through the Holy Spirit and call him Jesus. Mary said, I will do what God wants me to do. Mary said yes to God. Okay, so here's the picture. There's Mary and there is the angel Gabriel bringing the good news to Mary. All right, there's the picture. All right. An angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and told him Mary was going to have a baby boy and they were to name him Jesus. He is the son of God. So Jesus is the son of God. And this is a picture of Joseph, who was Mary's husband, who is dreaming. And Gabriel came down to him and said, hey, Mary's having a baby. And you're going to name him Jesus. So here's the picture. All right. Mary went to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who was also expecting a baby boy. Her baby will be called John. All right, so there's Mary, and there's Mary's cousin Elizabeth, and she's also going to have a baby, and that baby is going to be named John. All right, so that was a little bit of a short story. All right, I'm going to ask a few questions. What was the name of the angel that came to Mary? My friends, just shout it out. That's right, it was Gabriel. Now, what did the angel tell Mary? What did Gabriel tell Mary? Who was she going to have? She was going to have Jesus. Awesome work. Now, last question. At the end of the story, who does Mary go to visit? Her cousin, what's the cousin's name? Elizabeth, all right. So that was a really nice story. So Advent is a time for waiting. So what you're gonna need out, my friends, you're gonna need this book that says, Advent is for waiting. You're also going to need this little half sheet with O's, F's, and R's on it. And then, you're also going to need either markers or crayons. You're going to need a pink crayon, a purple crayon, and a green crayon. Or if you want to do markers like me, you can totally do markers like me. Okay? And then you're also going to need some scissors and a glue stick. So I'm going to go through those all again because there's a lot of stuff, okay? We need our Advent is for waiting book. So it looks like this. You're gonna need this sheet right here of O, F, and R's. You're going to need your scissors and a glue stick. And then these three color crayons or markers, okay? So I'm gonna give you a moment to get those supplies. And when you are ready, you can unpause the video. All right, you should be all ready and started. So the first step I want you to do is actually, I want you to cut out the letters and I want you to group them by letter. So when you cut out all the O's, I want you to put them in a pile. I want you to put all the F's in a pile and all the R's in a pile. So watch this. So I, ha I already cut out mine. I have my F's all in a pile. I have my O's all in a pile, and I have my R's all in a pile, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to take your time, and I would like you to please pause this video, and when you are all set, when you're all done cutting and putting them in your piles, you can unpause the video. All right, if you have unpaused the video, that means you have your R, O, and F piles all set. 
Okay, that's why you want pause. So let's get started. So we have the cover of our book. It says Advent is for, F-O-R, for waiting. Now I want you to choose whatever crayon you want to use, and you're going to write your name on the line. I'm going to use the purple crayon, but you can use whatever crayon you want. Okay. Right, so you're gonna write your name on the line. Now, my friends, we will decorate the cover when we are all done. You'll have a few minutes at the end of the lesson to decorate the cover when you are all done, okay? Okay, so when you are done with your name, you are going to open up to page two, okay? You're gonna open up to page two. Let me just get mine all set up. So this is what you should be looking at, okay? So it says the green reef is ooh, blank advent. Do you remember what the word was? For. Oh, ooh, for, okay? Now what we're gonna do, we're going to form the word for in the boxes. Do you look at the front cover if you need it? What letter goes first for the word for? That's right, an F. So with your glue stick, you're gonna put some glue down and then you're gonna put F. And then what comes next? Look at the cover if you need the help. F, O, so you're gonna glue some glue down and put the O right there. So we got F, O, and what's the last one? What's the last one? R, okay. So F, O, R spells the word for. So let's read that again. The green wreath is for Advent. All right, I want you to put your finger like this with me. Ready? The green wreath is for Advent. So my friends, what color are we gonna color this wreath? That's right, we're gonna color it green. So if you're still gluing, don't worry. You can catch up in a few moments, okay? So I'm gonna, we're gonna color the green wreath. All right, my friends, I paused the video by accident. So if you are not on this step with F-O-R and the wreath fully covered, I would like you to please pause the video and then when you are all set with this step, you can move on, okay? So now when you're done with page two, you're now gonna flip to page three. Please turn to page three. You should see just one candle, okay? Okay, so this is what you should be looking at on page three. I'm gonna read the sentence real quick, ready? The pink candle is for Advent. Okay, so let's go through. What's the first letter in the word for? F. What's the next letter in the word for? O. And what is the last letter in the word for? R. Awesome work. Okay. Okay, we're ready. Let's read this together. The pink candle is for Advent. All right, let's read that again. Ready? The pink candle is for Advent. Okay, so you're going to grab out your pink crayon or marker and you are going to finish gluing the word for and coloring the marker, okay? 
when you are all set with this and coloring in the candle with your marker or crayon, you can hit unpause. All right, so you should be done with this step. It says the pink candle is for Advent and you colored the candle pink. All right, now I want you to do is to flip to page four, okay? Flip to page four. You should see a group of candles now, okay? You should see a group of candles, okay? I'm gonna read this for you, ready? It says, the purple candles are for Advent. Let's try it again, ready? The purple candles are for Advent. All right, let's start. What's the first letter in the four? That's right, an F. What's the next letter? That's right, an O. And what is the last letter? What's the last letter? It's R. So F-O-R spells the word four. Not the number four, but the word four. It says the purple candles are for Advent. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your purple crayon or marker and you're gonna color all three of these candles purple. So you're gonna catch up to where I am. You're gonna glue these down and then color these in. When you're done gluing these down and coloring the candles in, you can unpause the video. All right, if you are on to this step, that means you have glued down F-O-R and colored these candles purple. Now, for some reason in my lighting, they look blue. I promise you, I use my purple marker, but they look blue for some reason. So I'm gonna read this one more time. The purple candles are for Advent. All right, so you're going to flip to page five where you should see a bow or a ribbon. You should see a bow or a ribbon. Okay. Okay, ready? Listen very carefully. The purple ribbon is for Advent. What does it say? The purple ribbon is for Advent. All right, let's go through. What's the first letter? F for four. What's the next letter? O. And what is the last letter? R. Okay. The purple ribbon is for Advent, okay? So what I want you to do, you're gonna grab your purple marker again, and you're gonna color in the ribbon, and you're gonna finish gluing down the word for, F-O-R, and color in the ribbon. When you have finished gluing this down and coloring in the ribbon, you can unpause the video. All right, so you should have finished. The purple ribbon is for Advent, and colored it in. Okay, so last page, page number six. All right, page number six. It says, Advent is for waiting. What does it say? Advent is for waiting, all right? Last time I'm gonna ask you to spell, what's the first letter in the word for? F. What's the next letter? O. And the last letter? R. Okay. Now this says, Advent is for waiting. So you're gonna glue down F-O-R and then color in all the pieces. 
So we know the ribbon is blue, purple. It looks blue in the camera, but it's purple. The wreath is green. Three of the candles are purple, and one of them is pink, all right? I want you to finish up this page and then color this in. All right, so when you are done, you can unpause the video. All right, so this should be your finished product. All right, now you will have time to color the cover however you want. You can decorate it however you want, okay? So, awesome work with religion. I cannot wait to see all your beautiful coloring and how you decorate this cover. I hope you enjoyed religion today. I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.